welcome, welcome. Happy Monday. It's another Monday Momentum. This one is the unboxing of our January box. So for those of you guys, you've probably seen me post about it. Um, and I always get questions, what is it? So every second Monday, I'm going to unbox so you guys can see it. And I'm going to take the glasses off. The Business Builder Box is a subscription box for real estate agents. And what it is, is really helping you get leverage with your sphere and past clients. I'm going to tell you this year kicked off with one client reaching out and she is currently looking to relocate. She has a condo and a townhome. And because I stay in front of them with something like this, I already got a message saying, hey, we're getting ready. Okay. So she's not sure if she's going to get rid of both or maybe just one. But your past clients are your biggest advocates. And as much as you guys know, I love all things geographic farming. I love all things hyperlocal. We need to have your database under control first and foremost, because if you are not getting the call back, why even spend money on a market that is completely cold, that doesn't know you, right? Those are strangers. We cannot go out there and start convincing strangers. And I don't care who you follow. Everybody says the same. Your sphere is your number one source of business. And that is the truth. Will you agree with me? Let me know in the comments. Sphere, right? Pink is not my color. Pink is not my color either, really, but that's okay. Um, black is. I do a lot of black. <laughs> it's actually cold in my office. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snuggle up. Okay. So the January box was awesome. And what it is, is for you guys to stay in front of your sphere. I'll tell you another story. We just had our reach outs done for January and I've gotten so many clients contacting me back saying like, hey, we actually referred you over to our friends. It was a way for us to just start a conversation and they let me know about it. I wasn't even aware that they mentioned to their friends during the holidays, call Janine, which was awesome. I'm like, yes, call Janine. So they are currently building, but will be selling their home, which is, you know, really interesting. If you see why are people moving in 2023? We've talked about it. There's going to be less and less business. And if you focus on anything this year, let it be relationships, relationships in your farm, relationship with your sphere, relationship with your past clients. And because of that, we're going to be bringing neighborhood events into the hyperlocal agent. I want you to really have an excuse to say, I would love to see you. We're going to hire an Easter bunny to take some pictures. Will you come bring the kids, the grandkids, your dog? Will you just bring yourself? I would love to catch up. Okay. We're going to be really going deep on relationship this year inside the hyperlocal agent. Um, who's ready for that? Say relationships in the comments, please, because the reason I do it is because I want you to have stronger relationships to withstand the market. I want you to go have a farm to withstand the market. I want you to really be bulletproof, which is why I share so much inside this group. And I appreciate each and every one of you. So let's dive in. This year is the box we're talking about. And what was in there, first and foremost, is our little workbook. We do have a workbook that comes with it. And finally, I am so glad to always receive the input of our agents. They wanted a pocket-sized version of the tracker. This tracker is really, really amazing. It's simple. It's checkbox style. Okay. And it just talks about, hey, have you communicated with your sphere? This is all about how can we do it? And then be somebody you don't know. I know it's a little hard sometimes, right? But somebody you don't know. This tracker here is the easiest, by far the easiest. Again, fits in your pocket. That's why we have it in here. It used to be on the box. We upgraded it. Now it is available um, inside here, which is amazing. And it really talks about the things that I want you to do every single month. Yes, I know, right? 
Consistency. Do you know what top producers are? Consistent. It has a checklist right here. Talks about all the things that we kind of have going on. It links to our podcast episode. So if you don't know, I do have a podcast. It does have a note section, which, by the way, in February, something absolutely amazing is coming to this. Um, if you are a box subscriber, I don't think you're going to be sad that this note card section is completely going away. Well, almost completely going away. And um, we do have a spec shop. I actually just wore that shirt um, yesterday. So it's me against me. And then on the back, we got a Walt Disney quote. The way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. How many of you guys started doing? Like, let me know in the comments. And how many of you guys are still procrastinating? Please don't right? Start doing. We want to do. So first things first, let's start with the coolest item in my opinion. And I had so many people um, give me different ideas of what they're going to do with this. This one here is our party cannon. Yes, we shipped a party cannon. This could be for you to just ring in the new year for a fun photo prop. This could be you saving it for your very first listing of 2023. This could be you giving it over to a client that just closed to celebrate. You have options with this party cannon. So in it, we have um, money. Actually, there's money in there. $100 bills. And um, I really want to open it. <laughs> I really want to open it. Just not inside my office, but I really want to open it. Maybe at the end. We'll see. Maybe. Should I should I explode it at the end? Maybe. Okay. We'll, we'll see. Um, I don't know if I have extras. I gotta see if I have extras. All right. Next up, and again, I get it. Pink is not everybody's color, but don't worry. It is super useful. Ah, there's so many shreds on mine. Not a big fan of shreds, but it held it all in. Plan the work and work the plan. This one here is a super, super thick um, planner that we added in. Okay. So for those of you guys that are checklist people like me, all there, right there, to-do list, the plan. And the cool thing is you can just like tear it off every single day. And it's like super, like, look how many are there. So if you're not a pink person like like me, I just have mine mostly like this. So it's mainly white. Okay. But this one here, I use mine all the time. So I actually ordered some extra because I wanted some extra ones. Um, this is my current one. Yes, it's a little, you know, I, I said, use the same stuff. Um, this one here is actually talking about the summit. But this one here is super cool. You can keep it around. If you're like me, do you have things pop in your mind like at the weirdest times and you're like, oh, I have to write this down. I literally live on um, sticky notes, you see, and then, you know, written down things. So that's what happens if you have somebody call you five million times, mom, mom, mom. You're like, I had a thought and then it went away. So, but that's how we're going to be efficient. To-do list, focus, get it done. All right. Next up. We got your personal note cards, and this design was so much fun. This design is for the January one, a lot of happy smiles. They make great birthday cards. They make great um, happy home anniversary. They make great get well cards. They're bright. They're colorful. You, They're blank on the other side, and they are matte, so you can run them through the printer if you wanted to. So these are 25 of those to make sure you reach out to your past clients. So if you scroll through Facebook, you see that there's a birthday, write the card. You scroll through Facebook, you see their dog passed away, write a card. I actually just did this one. Oh yeah. And we're buying a condo for their son. So talk about relationship. I just told you about four relationships that happened because of my, or four transactions because of my past clients, like literally. Did you guys just notice that? Okay. So that's that one. Um, you can also use them for expired listings. Okay. So if you want to farm expireds right now, not a bad source. Use them. 
Then we got the little stickers that go right there to seal the envelopes. And then, oh, I almost forgot about this one. Um, we have the colored envelopes that go with it. So yes, they are super bright. And if you know those are not your colors, don't worry, they are not my colors either, but they are super bright. If you are going to get a stack of mail, you will stand out and that's the point, okay? It's about the fun of it, not what is there. Okay, and then this one. This one is probably one of my favorite things inside the box. Um, yes, you get a pen, a motivational pen. Make today great is what this one says, okay? Make today great. And it's a pen holder. Now, it is designed to go over your books, your journals. You can actually fit it. Let me see if I can put it on. You can fit it on this one. Okay. How many of you guys have like a bazillion pens in the car? And when you look for one, you can never, ever find one. That's me too. So um, this one here goes on the planner. You can put it on books if you are um, doing that. If you have a journal, it can go on there. Super, super useful and a little bit of motivation. That's always good as well. All right. That was our January box for the stuff. Now, in addition to the stuff, the, you know, other component of the box is digital. And I probably should have pulled up um, my account first. Now I have to log in. Sorry. But in addition, the box itself comes with a monthly designed mailer if you're part of the subscription box. So I thought, what can I do to get people that don't know about the box to a try it? And I thought, why not give them the box itself and then a recording of our mastermind in January. So you have our mastermind recording with it, which we talked about reach. So for those of you guys that are still texting Happy New Year messages to your past clients, stop it right now. <laughs> There's an easier way to do it. We covered it inside our January um, mastermind, which was awesome. I was actually doing a live thing on it. So people were able to see live what it looked like. I got so many messages back. It was amazing. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I need this one. I need this one. And I had so many conversations to stay top of mind that had nothing to do with real estate yet they resulted in somebody saying hey by the way we referred you to our friends okay so super super cool so let me show you the january design let me see if i can find a couple in a row mm, I'll, I'll show you a couple different ones let me open that sorry I know, next time, which mean open up your stuff before. I'm going to show you a couple different designs in terms of a brand because the mailers are geared to really make sure that they are fitting you and your brand. How many of you guys are like tired of the custom or of the, of the generic ones and you just wish somebody would really, really understand what your brand looks like? That was me. Every time I looked at the mailer templates, I thought like, mm, that's not right. That doesn't, like, does that sound familiar to any of you? Where you just look at it and you're like, mm, no, that's not quite right. I don't feel like it's really hitting the spot. And especially with tools such as Canva, I feel like all of us have gotten really almost spoiled of wanting to have something look our way. Can't just be me, right? So, all right, let this load up. All right, I want to share my screen so you guys can see. Oh, where is it? There. Gonna look funny for a minute here. I'll just share the entire screen with you. Okay. All good? All good. Made it. Okay, so this one here is my very own one. So this one went out to my database. They got, or they're getting a 
calendar for that one. Now, yes, some of them already got it. And that's just an additional touch on it. I am not worried about an additional touch because if they already have a magnetic one, this card is supposed to be handed over to one of their friends. Okay. Uh, we have over here, Deborah is part of the program and we have Deborah here with her brand. And then Tanya here, she has her own brand, her own fonts. Everything is custom to what she does. And then we have Tasha, also a lot more custom than any of the other ones. So that itself is the template. And I am including the template inside the box so you guys can customize it, okay? Um, for actual box subscribers, I'm the one doing all the customization. Like we're going in there, we're branding it to them, and then they're going to be um, just approving it. It's super, super simple. We get them connected with our printer and it's as easy as replying to an email approve or they can tweak it right there themselves of what they want to see. If they want to add somebody for co-branding, there's so much like free stuff that they can like freedom that they have, which is so, so cool. And um, let's see if I got a couple other ones that we've done. I don't think I've got any here. Nope. Got to bring some home. But the reason I love the creative freedom is because all of us always want to tweak something. Like maybe you want to change out a testimonial. Maybe you want to add, you know, a certain like wording thing. Maybe you want just like your fonts, for example. You cannot go to a mailing company and say, oh, my font, by the way, is this. My brand font is this. I have two people in this box that have a brand font. There's nobody out there that allows them to put their brand font on any of their pre-designed typical run-of-the-mill mailer, okay? So if you do not want to feel like run-of-the-mill, then this is a great way to get custom pieces. Um, the cost on the postcards through our vendor is 80 cents, and there's no upcharges, no nothing. It goes directly to them. And 80 cents for targeted postcards, okay? So over the course of a year, I spend about $6 to follow up with my past clients. Six dollars. How much is a customer worth to you if you get thousands of dollars? Right? Think about it. If I spend six hundred dollars for the year in past client follow up, and I get, I think last uh, year I had like three or four transactions from my past sphere only. Okay. Thousands. Thousands. It's crazy. I don't know why people do, wouldn't want to do that, and it's just so scalable. I don't have to deliver Popeyes and it's going to take me forever. If you do Popeyes, that's fine. We have an entire Popeye catalog inside the Mailer Clinic, but it's time consuming. Okay. This is not. If I send it to 10 people, 100 people, 1,000 people, the only thing that's going to go up is, is the, you know, the budget, the spend on it. So that's easy. So that's the Mailer component. Now I do have seven trial boxes left. And the seven trial boxes will have all the things that I showed you are in it. Okay. All the cool stuff. I know you're just hanging out to see if I'm going to pop it. I know. Maybe. And the seven trial boxes have all the stuff I showed you. We're going to add a, um, a card of sort, like a cardstock card that will have access to the January template. So the template will be yours if you want to, you know, send it next year, send it this year still. I would encourage you to send it this year still. Okay, it is just, what, January 9th. And you're also gonna get the 30-day free access to the mastermind. So you can watch the January one, you can access anything in January. So if you want a trial box, it's not a subscription, okay? The trial box is a one-time box. So for those of you guys saying, oh my gosh, I don't wanna have a subscription anyhow, but I would love to have that particular template and box just drop 47 into the comments and we'll we'll go through after this one and i'll respond just drop 47 below and ask me the questions i know i do a terrible job sometimes explaining what it is but i really wanted to make sure you understand the business builder box is your follow-up system for your past clients and your sphere 
if you are going out there and you are farming without a plan on your past clients or your sphere, you're losing deals. And I don't want you to lose deals. I really, I don't. If I get an agent messaging me like, oh, I had a past client, but they went with somebody else. And I ask why, and it's like, well, I haven't talked to them. You know, like, I don't, I, I don't want that to happen to you. It's not worse you losing thousands of dollars over. So the January box is absolutely awesome. Yes, it's pretty pink. No, it's not that girly. I'm actually looking at the February box over there, which is pretty cool. We're going to have a book in there for February. So if you do want the subscription box right away instead of the trial, just type in BBB. That's the business builder box. Okay. But if you just want to try it, you can just type uh, type 47 below and then we'll get you the trial box. But this is absolutely something. If you want to get started on postcard marketing, on mailers, this is your start. And then from there, it's all about lead generation. And for lead generation, for those of you that see my email, the mailer bootcamp is happening next Monday. So there won't be a Monday momentum because we are actually kicking off the bootcamp. And I feel like time is flying so much, but the bootcamp is going to be fun. So if you're not in the bootcamp yet, you're missing out. I actually got to approve a bunch of people in the bootcamp group. So I'm going to do that in a minute here and it'll be fun. We have brand new content, brand new recordings, um, brand new templates we're sharing so much stuff. So if you're wondering, how do I get started on all these things, right? It's geographic farming, mailer marketing. How do I become known in my area? I want you to really tune in. Okay. I can't make you tune in. That's up to you. But I hope, I hope that I've shared enough of the it works stuff because what I do is exactly what you do. I sell houses. I am out there. I am uh, making connections. I am an introverted person that's a lot happier behind a computer like this. So I want to make sure that you get the real behind the scenes kind of stuff. Okay. All of that said, happy Monday. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I will talk to all of you guys in the group or in the boot camp. Bye for now.